Hey, what's up everyone? This is AD Gaming and welcome back to another Robots video. In this video, I'm gonna be featuring the tier with the new Stellar Wasp and using also the Magnetar. And you are going to see how crazy this build can be using the overdrive and the 300% damage with the microchips. I decided to do it on this video and I'm using the, you can say the new skin, the Novum skin for the tier. So yeah, you are going to see a crazy gameplay like I said with this and let's go okay we dropped on raw map and this is domination mode let's see how we do let's go by the way guys if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel make sure to do it also click the bell icon so you won't miss any future content we are releasing on this channel and also make sure to like this video if you do like it let's go let's snipe them all this is actually has a, a new sound effect. It's really, it sounds really cool. And take a look at the visual effect and take a look at the damage even. So I'm purposely letting them to shoot me to get the overdrive bonus to trigger my overdrive. But even without overdrive, we did very well. This Lich is almost done there. Oh my God. And we are shooting at this Ravana. He's using his transcendence mode and going back to cover. So yeah, like I said, this is really insane. And I really like the sound effect on and, and the visual effect. It's really, it really looks nice and also it sounds really cool. Okay, this Nightingale is flying. We tried to suppress me. So, but we have the physical shield. So I think I also, I, I tried the build the, in the previous one of my previous videos. I tried the Pulsar and Magnetar setup and I, try, I wanted to try the new Wasp with this Magnetar and yeah this is really really you can see it works very well we got another one we got another kill here yeah this is really doing crazy and we have the corrosion damage it's like the wasp but this is a new limited edition weapon with a new visuality a new skin you know new design but it has the same ability okay so we got another kill before, uh, before and another kill we got the nightingale here triple kill so yeah we did very, we are doing very well i mean <laughs> okay there is a typhoon We're trying to remove penetrate his age shield triggering his last stand doing an immense amount of damage here this nightingale is going to be dead let's make sure i want to make sure that okay forget it he's already dead <laughs> i wanted to get the kill so the good thing is this is because it's domination we don't have to worry about the beacons because we have the control here the the enemies they have to push in order to get the beacons but take a look what i'm doing here i took a good position here i have the physical shield if somebody will try to get me and to do some damage to me and i can you can say snipe them all but it's not really a sniper this is a medium range weapon but you can see what i'm doing here let's try to get this one dead and this leech oh my goodness this is really a crazy amount of damage he's using his ability i don't care we can bypass his resistance with dot effect you can see down below we got him with dot effect really really insane what we are doing here this aljun is coming i know it i'm waiting let's do some damage to him activating healing to get more damage we have the 300 percent damage here remember with overdrive and the, the drone's ability so i wanted to show you the maximum damage we can reach this time okay so we took out this arjun my my teammate shano destroyer he got the kill and yeah we have four beacons so that's really looking good we are doing a massive damage to this fan here and i'm trying to get the kill i cannot believe this lich this blitz stole my kill i cannot believe it i did most of the damage and he got the kill but the most important thing that we took him out and he is dead out of the equation dd we showed him the good business okay this leech again another leech we trigger his last 10 we will try to get him i think he's gonna be dead with corrosion damage pay attention yes i knew it i knew it we got him with a corrosion i knew it i knew it's gonna happen it was insane it was really awesome what we did here with corrosion damage okay let's keep going they are bringing the titans the enemies and my team they are also bringing the titans so i would like also to heal my friends here 
And when I, when I will have a chance. I don't want to push because I don't want to lose my robot yet. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I want to heal these Snowdens here. So I'm going to do it in a few seconds. But meanwhile, he's not getting attacked. He's not... Uh, the enemy, they are not attacking him. So now I think I need to heal him because, yeah, he's trying to push the enemies. So I will let, give him some healing here. So you can see. You can see it actually really helps. We are regenerating the the HP of this Nodens. He's also lagging like crazy. Try to deal with this Hawk. We did it with corrosion damage again. So the corrosion damage, I can also bypass the reflector ability of the Hawk. That's the good thing. And I did it here. We got another kill here. Really doing well with the tier. We we'll try to get this arming. The thing is running plasma. So we have to be careful here. I did some damage. Sweet amount of damage to him. And going back to safety. I don't want to suffer damage from it. There is also an enemy tier. And a Minos. So I'm trying, I'm trying to support this Snowden. Since being attacked by this Hawk. Doing damage to, to him with the wasp. We got a rampage here again. Because of corrosion damage. I was able to deal with the hawk here. And I did it really really well. And the Nodens is still alive. That's the most important thing. And we are really doing well. Me and my teammates. And we have the majority of beacons. And the beacon bar is on our side. Doing damage to this Ao Ming again. And this Nodens now again. The enemies they are going... They are trying to bring him down. I will try to heal him. And this is exactly what I'm doing here. And there is a Falcon on the center. We have to stop him. So I have corrosion damage with this new Stellar Wasp. I was about to say Stellar Hornet. But this is actually a Stellar Wasp. So we don't have a Stellar Hornet yet. But we have the Stellar Wasp. So the thing is you can get only... You can get two of these from the Operation Pass. So this is why I have two on this Battle Rick account. So this is why I cannot run four of these on the Lich, let's say, or the Typhoon. So I, I choose to run it on the tier. Because I think this is actually can be a good build for the tier. And with the, with the using of the, the tier has the physical shield. So this is actually a big plus for him. Because you can use it as a medium range setup and you cannot get take damage from the enemies. So, and you have seen it on this first gameplay. You are going to see also another gameplay. And they killed me unfortunately. But we are going to win this game. I believe. Yeah for sure we are going to win it. Let's see the tail of the tapes in a few seconds. And we will jump into another gameplay right away. Okay waiting waiting okay we did more than 3 million damage almost 4 and I didn't take any beacons but I finished at the top place 8 kills I got here yeah I did very well we had also a dual squad from FR and yeah that was a good gameplay let's jump into the second gameplay okay we are on power plant map this time and this is again domination so yeah, we have a phantom here. I'm trying to do some damage to him. And he's really fast. So it's not so easy to hit him, you know. But I'm trying to do it. And I think this is a good position uh, what I took here. And you can see I'm supporting here my teammates. Trying to do damage to this phantom. We triggered his last turn. There is a shell. It's coming. Targeting system. Thank you for changing targets. Again, without even you know i didn't have any, any intention to do it but the game decided to do it again like always targeting system is there to ruin the day but anyway we are keep rolling we are rolling still we are yeah we are keep showing them the good business we took out this phantom he's out <laughs> there is a shell he's trying to take our beacon okay we, we got him we got another enemy and what is that? I think this is... Uh, I'm not sure. I think it, this is... Uh, okay. Never mind. We took him out. I didn't see what was that actually. But I just took him out. <laughs> That's the most important thing. To kill the reds. Even even though sometimes you, you cannot see clear. You cannot clearly see what you are facing with. But I just did it. I killed him. Anyway. We got a double kill here. 
And let's see what is that. This is a leech, I believe. And we are doing damage to him. Again, I don't care that he has the ability. I have coercion damage. So I'm letting them again to shoot me a little bit. I don't have yet the overdrive. But this is why I'm trying to make them to shoot me. And I got another one in the process of this. Maybe you noticed that. This is a hawk. Doing damage to him, triggering his last 10 again, bypassing his reflector using the corrosion damage. And I did it really well. There is a Fenrir there. I have also freezing chips, microchips on this one. So the Magnetar, they are actually, they are active, they are triggering the drone effect really fast. Like the Pulsar and the Shredder and the Cryo weapons. So you can see that the Magnetar is doing the same thing here. So I did it. And here, my physical shield is absorbing some of this energy damage. But here I decided to change modes to get the overdrive effect. And I have it doing some damage to this Fenrir. And he's coming, so I have to go for... Yeah, to change position here. Luckily, this Hulk is not focusing me. And this Fenrir, it is. He is, it is focusing me. Focusing me, I mean. And he will try to, to finish me and to kill me. So again, I have to change position. So I'm trying to lock him down here, doing some damage with the wasp, activating healing to get more damage. And we are reloading, going, changing position. He doesn't have line of sight anymore. We have the beacons here. That's the good thing. We, we have the control again. And this Aujun, he will try to focus me. He wants to kill me, really wants me. I noticed that this is why I wanted to get close to my teammates and to help them out. And this notice, I think is, he needs some help. So I will try to support him. Meanwhile, taking out this enemy. We just took him out in a few shots with Magnetar. And this one as well. It wasn't my kill, but anyway, I did some damage here, there. And this is the Ravana. I'm trying to hit him. He uses his transcendence mode. And the Nodens. The Nodens is there. I'm going, uh, you know, to his direction. To try to support him. This is exactly what I'm doing here. Supporting this Nodens. Healing him. And he's focusing the Ao Ming. So we we'll try to help, help him out. Doing damage to this Ao Ming. With the Wasp a little bit. You know, I cannot get him. Because... Uh, this notice is blocking me but anyway i did some damage there and i keep supporting my teammates right now maybe you notice that i am much closer to my teammates and i decided to support them here with my healing and i lost one of my weapons meanwhile because of that but i think this is enough i did very very well with the tears so this is the time i decided to focus on healing my friends maybe you notice that so i'm i'm standing next to them and we have a we have an arthur here so that that's not good at all and this Ares also is coming he will try to support us with our with his uh, with his absorber shield so i'm trying to use my my healing to protect myself but i'm not gonna survive here and I think I, I need to bring something else. So I am keep trying to look for somebody to kill here. But uh, yeah, this Arthur is coming and this Ao Ming. Let's do some damage to him before I dead here. Freezing him. And I did a lot of damage to him actually. You can see it. Also with corrosion damage. There is an Arthur. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm gonna be dead here. There are two Nodens giving the last healing burst here. Before I did, and I'm gonna give the kill to this Arthur, and I'm gonna bring my Titan here to finish them. And yeah, we need to save this match, so I'm bringing the Ao Ming with spaghetti weapons, and you can see the amount of damage I can inflict to this Ao Ming. Yeah, really smashing him here. So let's do some damage to this Arthur. He's reloading. Luckily for us, so we can get him. And I can bypass his physical shield. And this is exactly what I'm doing here. We got another Titan Slayer. Two Titan Slayers in a row. And let's fly to the direction of the beacons. Let's get the beacon here. And the ping is there. I think there, are, there is a Typhoon there. 
and there is a hawk on the right side i'm doing damage to this hawk and i want to reload my weapons but the thing is this typhoon it just locked me down and deactivated my ability so yeah that's not good at all i'm gonna be dead here but i think we can get the beacon yes we got the beacon nice this is at least we we did it we got the beacon here and i'm trying to get revenge on this typhoon because i suffered a lot of damage because of him and i did it this typhoon is dead and my ao ming is also dead <laughs> you know after that because of the typhoon but it's okay i think we are gonna win it we have four beacons and we are getting the fifth cup the f the yeah the, fi the fifth cup here trying to get this hawk he's trying to get the beacon back but i'm here to stop him and let's take him out with the scorpion here and i did it the techno scorpion is here is in the house again and yeah we have five beacons we are gonna win it for sure i believe yeah that was a good game it was a good game we did very well with the tier and the match is gonna over yeah exactly what happened yeah let me know what you think about the tier in the comments down below guys i really think this is a this is actually an interesting build for the tier but the thing is it's not the best build but it's an interesting build and i did very well let me know what you think about also the new stellar wasp how it looks like what is your opinion about the new weapon let me know in the comments down below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure to do it also click the bell icon so you won't miss any future content we are releasing on this channel and if you do like what you see here make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and until next time have a good day slash night